We all know brands make a lot of bold claims about different products, how they work, what they can do for you, and a lot of the time we fall into that trap. However, One Size is a brand that I have used and liked a lot, especially their Until Dawn spray, setting spray, right? I'm greasy, I'm oily, I don't believe in setting sprays. I don't believe in them. However, what I do believe in is using a setting spray in your primer stage. Um, for your skin type, you know? So super oily, I use a mattifying setting spray. The one size one goes everywhere with me. If I'm doing an event, this comes. Doing something special where I need my makeup to last all day and my oils not break through and ruin my foundation, this comes with me. I trust it, I've used it, it works fact for me, right? So when I was sent this from one size, this is the Secure the Sweat Dry Till Dawn Primer. If this works, if this works, it'll be incredible. I sweat, right? I sweat here for some reason. You know when you get like those tiny little bits and your makeup starts breaking up and I sweat on the middle of my forehead. It is so easy to retouch makeup that has been like a little bit oily, but when it comes to sweat, it's just annoying. It's just irritating. You have to blot it away with a tissue. Then you have to do something else, something else. Whereas with oil, you can just tap on a bit of powder and it seems pretty good. Or you can just like buff a little bit and then tap with powder. So if this does help, it'll be amazing. I'm doing a wear test for you and seeing how it goes. Before we get into it, consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment for the algorithm. If you don't know what to comment, let's comment sweaty face today or sweetie face depending what your autocorrect does to you. The claims, the claims. Secure the sweat, sweat-proof aluminium-free primer. It claims to be sweat-proof, waterproof, and oil-proof. Okay. Locks and makeups and helps maintain your matte finish by controlling oil and shine for 12 hours. That is a huge, huge claim. $34, which is okay if it, if it says it does what it does. The oil proof, shine proof, sweat proof, I would love, I would love that to work. There's a few ingredients in here that kind of like help the claim a little bit. So um, horsetail and sage help absorb excess sweat and minimize the appearance of large pores. That's good. Non-comedogenic, which won't clog pores. Bamboo marrow helps absorb excess sweat and oil to intensely mattify and protect the integrity of makeup. Here's the deal. I have two situations in which I want to test this. One of them is quite extreme. So I'm going to London. I'm going to be in front of big lights, cameras. It's going to be a sweaty situation, right? So I'm going to wear it for that day. And I don't know how much I can film during the day, but I'll keep you posted right throughout. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to try it when I sweat the most, which is tidying my house, right? So cleaning my filming room, um, doing like activity things, not activities, not like skiing, but like, you know, holding things. <laughs> what makes you sweat? Things that make you sweat. I'm a, I am, I am a sweat person. I'm a sweat person. I got the armpits under control. Now if we can get the face under control, that will be, that's going to be a yes from me. And I'll do it like a half face, no makeup and a half face with, so we can see the difference. So yeah, I guess let's do it. Let me put in the footage from the filming day here. So this is probably the most terrible lighting ever. <coughs> We're doing it. We're doing the full day wear test. This is going to come in, if it works, incredibly handy today. Because I believe I'll be sweating. So my skin, it looks a little bit like um shiny now, but it's not. It's just a bit uh tacky, I guess, from... You know, let's go to the bathroom. I've used a sheet mask. Um, but my skin, I mean, it's just, my skin just looks glowy. It's not like um, sticky or anything. So I'm literally, I think I'm just gonna use this and then like some eye cream because I, I don't want to over prep my skin today. Oh, that's a really surprising texture. It's kind of, I guess it's kind of thick, but not thick at the same time. It's almost like a thick gel. Okay, let's push that into the skin a little bit more. There's no real smell to it either. Like it doesn't smell, it doesn't smell fragrance, but then it also, it doesn't smell funny. Instruction, squeeze a dime, I don't know what a dime is, size drop into your fingertips, warm it up and press into the skin before makeup. Pro tip, wait, and uh, pro tip, secure the sweat and wait. 
Oh, and wait one minute for formula to dry before applying makeup. Will do. Oh, my light just ran out of battery. That's fine. It says to warm it up in your fingers. So I guess like this. I'm going to try it around this area. I always sweat on my cheeks here and on my forehead. I wonder if it will help like a bit of shine as well. We will see. That's all I'm doing. I feel, I thought it would be or feel quite... I don't know, I guess like matte on, on the face or like a little bit tight on the face. It doesn't, my skin feels normal. <laughs> it feels like it did before I put the product on. So that's good, it, it, it doesn't feel like uncomfortable in any way. Not that I thought my face would feel uncomfortable, but you know, I thought it might be like a bit like strong and, and um, yeah. Okay, so I still have a good like two hours before I need to leave. Wait, do I? Well, at least, an, at least an hour and a half before I need to leave. So I'll update you just before I go. And I don't know how often I can update you in the place. It might have to be video footage and then me voice overing it a little bit later. Um, but I'll voice over it tonight just so it's all fresh in the memory. I couldn't actually film much throughout this day. This is me in the car about an hour and a half later. Looks good still. This is me like five hours later. And the skin, although it looks a bit shiny, held really well. And now I'll try it around the house and see how it works. Let's get into it. Good morning. This is a very wide, strange camera. I am doing a lot today. I have all my PR to sort out, which is getting crazy. I need to start creating some content using that. I've got a hair mask in because I need my hair out my way. And we are trying the one size, uh, what's it, I keep forgetting the name, Secure the Sweat this morning. Cause I know that up in this room, I get really hot. Um, and I will sweat a little bit. I'm gonna do, okay, the scar is gonna be without makeup and this side is gonna be with makeup. So I'm gonna do this side with a little bit of foundation and this side without and see how we get on. Let's just go ahead and apply it. Okay, so it, it looks like, it reminds me of like a cream the doctor gives you, like an ointment almost. <laughs> okay, let's do, it says to warm it up in your fingers. Although when I tried it the first time, I didn't experience any kind of, um, Look how massive and shiny my forehead, forehead is. Any kind of grittiness or graininess, or anything like that. I One thing I would say is just be careful around the eyes here because I didn't rub it in properly here and it was a little bit textured, but that's me not rubbing it in properly. I'm just warming it up in my fingers. You can do the whole forehead. So yeah, I'm being quite careless, but I should really be a little bit more specific, I think, with where I want to go. Get right out of the nose, especially in these little bits here. The last bit, I'm just gonna warm it up and rub it in. And then I'm just gonna double make sure, rubbed it all in, and there's no little bits drying out around here and like that. Okay, again, doesn't feel tight. It doesn't feel strange on the skin. It feels absolutely fine. Please ignore all that rubbish. These, that's from the past like days. <laughs> um, I need to take it all down. Okay, let's do a little bit of foundation on one side. Okay, foundation, foundation, foundation. I'm going to use foundations that I know sit on my skin quite well. I don't want to be, do like a ridiculous review and be like, oh, I'm going to use the most hydrating, greasiest foundation on me. I'm going to go in with my Rose Ink Soft Light Foundation because uh, this is beautiful and I'm only going to do a very, very light layer. And I'm also going to use some of my Merit Concealer because I fucking love this stuff. Um, Accru is my Accru. I never know if it's a crew or a crew. Um, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of that. I'm just doing this because I want to do my foundation. I don't have it up to my eyes, but the um, the sweat thing, but I just want to do my makeup how I would usually do it. And you know what, this is going on, considering I put a lot here off the anti-sweat, what's it called? Secure the sweat here. My concealer's going on really, really nicely. It isn't, part of me thought that makeup might have trouble sitting on top. It might be a bit grainy, um, but it's not at all. It looks really, really smooth. Really, really, really smooth. I am going to cover the majority of my nose just because that's a key like oil and sweat place for me. And then half of my forehead. So scar side is with makeup. I, I mean, I should be able to spoil it myself. I know what my skin looks like. I just need to try and remember. I would do blush and everything like that, but I don't want to look too crazy with half a face because it is a Friday and I'm constantly answering the door to packages throughout the week. So I am gonna, I don't look too insane and I'm home alone, so I don't want to look crazy. Okay, with foundation without, we are gonna test 
how this looks <laughs> in about an hour. God, my forehead's shiny. Oh, the foundation as well, sorry, I forgot to mention. Foundation has gone on. I really need to learn how to control this camera. Really, really, really well. Just trying to stabilize it. Like it looks fine. There's a little bit of like trouble around my nose, but that's not the product. That's me again. My nose just in this area. It's just an issue for me. Oh my God, it's actually really bad. And I haven't hydrated it very well. Let me fix that. And then I'll keep you posted. Quick change of plan. I'm actually gonna keep this crusty area on my nose because sometimes when I'm doing my makeup, um, let it happen and then my natural oils get involved and, and kind of smooth out the whole area. So it would actually be interesting to see if my natural oils do get involved because the sweat proof thing says that it doesn't let oil through. It's oil proof, resistant, whatever it says. So it'll be interesting to see how it deals with that. So yes, I'm, I, that's a good test for me. Okay. okay, so it has been a good hour and I just want to show you this area, which would usually be my oils would have got involved um, and made it like a little bit smoother. It hasn't happened. So this genuinely has blocked my oils from coming through. On this side of the face, I'm still a little bit shiny, but you, you saw my skin before. I I mean, if I had prepped this properly with skincare, which I did a little bit, not much, um, then it would have been in good condition. This side of my face, I don't know if you can hear it. Completely dry. Not dry as in dry, as in dry, no sweat, no oil, nothing. So far, so good. I actually, I'm actually very impressed, um, not with my skincare skills, but with how it's worked so far. So let's give it a few more hours, see how it goes. I still have stuff to do. I filled bin bags full of rubbish, full of um, boxes, which I then need to put in my, um, I have like a shed out the back where somebody comes and like picks up all the stuff and then sorts through the recycling. So I have to carry all that downstairs, which is kind of like, it's not that much of a big deal, but I'm unhealthy, I'll sweat. Um, yeah, so still a lot to do today, a lot to do. Okay, so it's another hour later, excuse the lighting, but I wanna show you natural light. This is, this is my face still, no oil around here, very minimal actually, if anything. No oil on my forehead. It's, it's good, it's done really well. My nose is still crusty, which means my oils haven't got into my foundation just yet. The foundation's sitting really, really well. This is really, really good. It's been what? What's the time? It's been about it's been about three and a half hours. So we are doing incredibly, incredi incredibly well. If I was like just going out for dinner or I was just doing something where it was gonna be like three, four hours long, this would keep me going. And I'm wearing the foundation I'm wearing isn't like massifying, it's like soft focus you know it is a little bit hydrating so there is a bit of shine on it i think it's i think it's doing really really well i'm very very impressed okay i think this is going to be my last update my skin's looking a little bit worse for wear now because i haven't really like um touched my found wait what side is it yeah touched my foundation or powdered it or anything like that it's it's lasted really really well i mean look at this side of my face my foundation stops about here i wouldn't say this was excessively greasy excessively oily or sweaty I have been, I'm, I've been out of breath today. Let me just say that. I think it's done really, really, really well. I would rely on this product to take me through a work day, an evening event, something like that, if I didn't want to be shiny and sweaty. I think it's done incredibly well. And I think I'm excessively oily. So if you're just like slightly a bit oily, I would recommend this. I would 100% recommend good um, skin prep. Okay, so I just want to conclude this video about the one size, why do I keep forgetting the name? Till Dawn Primer. Dry Till Dawn Primer. So, secure the Sweat, that's its name, Se Secure the Sweat. Um, I was very pleasantly surprised. There's a few things I would say about it, where in terms of using it, it's not necessarily a negative for a product. Um, one, prep your skin. If you have areas that you know are slightly dehydrated, maybe you won't be using this product if you're dehydrated or dry, but my skin is oily and dehydrated. So it is a product that I would use. So in those dehydrated areas, make sure you're really prepping that skin. What I would recommend, hyaluronic acid serum, your sunscreen, and leave it at that, especially for me around these areas here where I didn't actually prep my skin very well. The morning I tried it, but it, it, it sat really nicely. The morning I tried when I was at that filming thing, um, 
sat beautifully on my skin. So do just be careful. You should, you really need to prep your skin. Another thing I noticed, um, looking back at some of the footage I filmed yesterday is I had a kind of ring around one of my eyes where the product, well, obviously I'd taken the product like this and didn't rub it in my eyes because I thought I didn't apply it on my eyes, but obviously some product got up there and it dried out a little bit. Be, take your time and I think only apply it in the areas where you need it. So in future, I don't need it on my cheeks. I don't know why I use it on my cheeks. I think I just wanted to try it. I'll just do my nose and my forehead and I'll make sure that around the edges is done first and make my way into the middle. So I'll do like all around here and then work my way into the middle um, and make sure that is properly smoothed out and blended on the skin. Other than that, that's two days. One extreme case of me being under studio lights for hours and hours and hours. There was no air conditioning in that room because they couldn't have air conditioning on because of sound and it was boiling hot. So it lasted, my foundation lasted really, really well in that extreme example. Oh yeah, and then one like at home kind of situation where I did, I did do a lot and started to sweat, but I wasn't in extreme conditions like I was before. So to me, this tells me that if I wanted to wear this to dinner, if I wanted to wear it during a work day, I can, and you know, nothing, if I'm not doing anything um, too, too intense, you know, I think I, I will be good. I'll be good with that. I really, I really, really liked it. I think it did really, really well. If you are oily, do check this out. Also check out the Until Dawn um, setting spray, because that is, Perfection. Maybe don't use them together. That might be a crusty situation. Maybe I'll try it one day. All right, thank you so much for joining me. Consider subscribing, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.